Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube cryptocurrency channel where I view coins and tokens, give you my honest feedback. Doesn't mean I'm an expert, definitely not a financial expert, but I just kind of review things, you know, try to keep up with the news and information that's going on and just give you, you know, how I feel about it. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong, and I definitely always want to get feedback from you guys as far as, you know, whether you like the videos, the style, everything else. So typically, I try to find, or I started with finding coins and tokens that were already out there, some of the interesting ones that I personally liked, and then I would talk about them. Then I rotated over to ICO stage coins that had just gotten out of ICO stages because there was a lot of visibility, a lot of talk, a lot of hype, and I wanted to learn myself, and so I would research them and kind of give you back what I found. The last coin I actually went into was called Ender Coin, and that particular one has not even hit ICO stage yet, but I find it very intriguing. And so, you know, it's even at more of an infinite stage. And it was interesting, I thought. And so I put that one out. Well, this one, this one is about as beginning as you can possibly get it. It's called EcoCoin. I actually found an article on it that came out today. Their white paper came out uh, two days ago, actually. So it is so new. You can't buy it anywhere. You can't, there, there's, there's nowhere to get it pretty much other than they actually will give you some free coins. But... You know, so it's 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 new. So be that as me. Let's go ahead and hop on in. It's called EcoCoin. It's at eco.com. Now this is not to be confused with the other EcoCoin that is actually already on CoinMarketCap.com. The other EcoCoin. This is their website. This is not the coin I'm talking about. This is not the coin that the article is about. It's this coin right here. So let me close that one down. And if you search EcoCoin in here just like that, it's going to bring up the other EcoCoin. This particular one is the one I am talking about, which is at EcoCoin.com. So what is EcoCoin, this one? What is it about? Really, it's just a digital currency. I know some of these coins have certain protocols like Ethereum and, and NEO and ARK and all these other ones that aren't necessarily just a currency. You can use it as a currency, but that's not what it's necessarily meant for like just solely this one as far as I understand is meant for that particular thing for the most part they say in here digital currency for everyone eco is the new type of money you can use anywhere in the world you can click here to get free eco you can sign up I signed up and then eventually I'm assuming they will send you kind of like an airdrop like free eco they show a picture in here of an app where they show in here I guess it's saying you know they either sent or spent X amount of eco on a wedding, college tuition, me fund. So you can, I think that's kind of going to be their, their main focal point is how you can use it, the, the adaptability, the, the usability, and how easy it is to use, I think is what they're going to try to focus on. They try to explain here why it's made for you. They have a white paper they just pushed out two days ago. It's only six pages long, so it's very, very simple to read. And then they talk about their foundation, their global ecosystem, and how they're gonna tie in nodes and up in here where they have universities, I'm not gonna click on it, but it's easy enough. It's just like a one page thing where universities can tie into the proof of stake POS style. They're not gonna go the proof of work and I'll explain more. You can sign up also here for the eco, free eco. I think the link above will push you down to this part. So before we dive too far into anything, I always like to look at social metrics. This one's a little bit quirky because it is so brand new. There's pretty much almost no social metrics on here. I do try to focus on Reddit and Twitter and Telegram. I couldn't find a Telegram. I couldn't find a Reddit. I could only find a Reddit for the other eco coins. So not a lot to give you. I did find, let's go, I think I closed it by accident. I did find the Twitter page. Now what was interesting is it claims that it's September 2016. Um, I can only imagine that maybe they either bought it from somebody else to get the name or I, I, I really don't know the background. Maybe they started this concept a long time ago and just never went public with it because you can see here 2016, November, and then nothing. And then also March 1st, two days ago, it just started to push out tweets and they've tweeted you know, multiple times a day ever since then, I guess, to try to get some uh, you know, visibility out there. So it's very small. I mean, you, know, you, you can't really expect that much given the fact that it's just absolutely brand stinking new. So I'm not going to focus as much on the website for the minute because the website is that, that's it. You pretty much saw it. The white paper is the link. The foundation is just a one pager. The university is one pager and I didn't look at the jobs. So this article here is actually what got me onto the EcoCoin or helped me find out about it. 
And they talked about that the Uber co-founder unveils a new cryptocurrency. Now, you know, I know a lot of people don't like centralized things in crypto. I know there's a lot of libertarians out there, including myself, where, you know, things are like a little bit uneasy as far as like, you know, big people coming into the crypto space. But it's kind of a catch-22, right? It's like having a band that you went to the first concert and then all of a sudden they became popular enough to hit the radio station. And you go, Ugh, man, really? But I feel like that's kind of what's slowly happening to the crypto crypto market. And whether you like it or not, I think that's just the way things are going to start to go. So you come down here, and I'm going to – this this actually kind of is pulled off their white paper, but it, it does a good job – good job of summarizing it so they are saying what's the difference between eco and bitcoin what does bitcoin have what are the flaws they try to present and then what are the um you know the positive sides of eco again this author is saying that but when i read through the white paper it's kind of similar to this so they're claiming that bitcoin has high concentration among handful of holders energy intensive mining process perception of propensity for fraud eh, okay <laughs> Uh, eco plans to do the following a verified network with universities run nodes instead of a volunteer mining that runs the bitcoin network so uh, you know proof of stake concept uh, they're going to try to tie into universities rather than individuals that's a different kind of way to go at it increase overall token supply so there will be increase as time goes on and then create simple web and mobile to me this right here is their number one key factor if i had to pick one thing that's unique or, or more unique than the rest, that would be it. Because there are so many currencies out there. I mean, even the currencies that aren't really about just currency, you can use it as a currency. So I'm not really, the token supply doesn't, to me, isn't that unique. The node thing isn't that unique other than they're focusing just on universities for the minute. But the, the app part to be able to use is more something that's a unique case, if you will, in my particular opinion on that. All right. So... Basically, it just this it's a really short article claiming that, you know, uh, the Uber co-founder that trying to use that as a big name to try to get visibility out there is getting into crypto. So if you hop over to their actually first, let's do this. OK, so we're talking about this big name guy. When you go to let's see, was it found? I think it's foundation tab. Pin on profit. Yeah. So they talk about their mission. They want billions of people to be able to use cryptocurrency and have their own financial control, continuous improvement, decentralization. But if you look at their advisors in here, I've just picked a couple. So you got Tim Ferriss, which is, you know, the New York Times book, the Trevor Mentor guy. He's he's kind of pretty well known, 1.5 million. So you got the Uber guy, you got Tim Ferriss in there. You got the the well was the CEO of Twitter at one point, Adam Bain. You got Scott in here, which is also a chief uh, producer for Adobe, uh, founder of Behance, a venture partner, benchmark author. So, you know, he's he seems to be a, a somewhat big deal. You got Jonah, which is the co-founder and CEO of BuzzFeed. So you got a decent amount, um, you know, a decent amount of big names tied into the advisors. I looked at their GitHub. I couldn't really find anything. But again, this is just so fresh. Like, I can't really hold them to the same standard as a particular coin or token that has been moving, has been out there, etc. So it's just interesting to see that you got quite a few fairly somewhat decent sized names tied into this concept. If you go over to their white page, white paper, it's only six uh, pages long, so it's very, very basic. It aims to create a verified network of global universities and reputable organizations to help design build and operate an evenly distributed and cooperative financial infrastructure. They talk about their motivation, you know, behind the the particular cryptocurrency here. And, and essentially, they're, I think they're trying to say, hey, we're slightly different than Bitcoin and some of the other currencies. I don't know. You know, I never try to do, like, negative reviews, per se, on coins. I feel like positive review on coins definitely do better as far as, you know, comments and views, etc. And I'm not negative per se on it i just don't see the the uniqueness yet in this particular coin and token that doesn't mean you guys can't point something out and say hey you know check this out this is why i think it's unique and different and i'll explain what i do think is slightly unique and different but i haven't really found the uniqueness yet in this that would say to me aha this is really incredible and different because if you look at crypto if you look at currency cryptos or crypto currency yeah currency crypto cryptos well, tongue tongue twister there 
there's a lot of options out there. Bitcoin obviously has its own issues because of the time to take to switch between, you know, different wallets or different exchanges is time consuming. The fees get expensive. Ethereum, you know, isn't nearly as expensive or time uh, consuming, but it does have its own issues. Litecoin has the same exact thing, smaller fees, maybe transaction times are quicker, but you still have some time frame issues in there. To me, I think it all comes down to adoptability or adaptability where, you know, how much is the general public going to, uh, like, gravitate towards a cryptocurrency currency? If that's all you're trying to do is just use it as currency, I only come into two different things, uh, three things, I guess. How fast is it? What are the fees? And how visible are you to get more and more people to use it? Me, personally, I don't really see that much more to what that particular currency would provide. I mean, yes, you could argue stability, so Bitcoin is very volatile. So at some point in your wallet, if you're holding two Bitcoin, it could be worth X. And then a week later, it could be worth Y. And now all of a sudden you're like, ah, I can't send that much. But I feel like there are other, other coins out there that are doing the currency thing really, really, really well. And if I had to pick one, like, for example, Nano, it's like almost instantaneous, no fees. Obviously, has you know, it comes with its own errors and issues, too, as they all do. But, you know, I want to see something different and unique. And I think the, the unique proposition that they bring to the table, if I could pick one, would be, Eco that is, would be that their mobile concept is going to be very straightforward where they talk about, I think, let's see, I want to find in here. Yeah, so this is the part in here where they talk about the usability. The critical to the, uh, usability is critical to the adoption of new technology platform. And I can't disagree with that at all. In fact, I actually really agree with that. It's the adoptability that's really going to take us to the next level and have cryptocurrency being used on a much more daily basis with people across the world. So the eco claims to reach the simplicity and ubiquity of a system such as Impesa, I don't know how to pronounce that, Impesa, never heard of it, within Kenya, but with global availability. Oh, you know what? I think I did actually see a YouTube video on that. Where, uh, yeah, I think there was like a village. I could be wrong on this. Don't quote me. But I'm pretty sure there was like a YouTube video I watched where nobody had like cash or wallets. They actually had just had their like mobile phone. They would buy anything and then like send money back and forth between each other, I think. Leave me a comment and let me know if that's correct, but I think that's what it is. So that would be, yeah, okay. But the global, um, so within Kenya, but within the global availability. So they're trying to go more global with ECO rather than just, you know, in Kenya to stop. ECO will prioritize simplicity and ease of, ease of use in all design decisions to help accelerate platform adoption and network effects. So I think that's what they would have going for them. They have the ability to pick up the phone. I talk about this a lot between the Uber guy and all these other advisors who can make connections to be able to say, hey, I, we want you to have your university be a node and start using this platform. So that, that is what I would imagine they would have going for them. Eco.com will allow users to create a verified account and profile such as Eco.com Alice or Eco.com Bob. So plug in your name, that would be your profile. I guess maybe kind of like a Facebook-ish style and then you know, you have your profile. I don't know what the profile is going to show. I think it's too new. They don't even talk about it as far as I know. But it will be formed to engage uses such as send three ego to Bob via interfaces like texting or voice commands. So that right there to me is their biggest strength because they could say, okay, I want to send three, you know, eco to Samantha. And I just text her quick, boom, sends it right over just like regular cash. Where some of these other... Uh, coins and tokens you're going to have to get on a wallet, get on your computer most likely, not always, not always, and send it over. Maybe you could get it on your mobile, but it's, for the general public, it's still way too complicated. The barriers of entry are way too high, in my opinion. So if you're breaking down that barrier of entry, then yes. Even if this coin is not that much better than the next coin, if they can convince the general public to use their platform, then it will win. I view it almost like the MySpace concept. MySpace was king. I think before MySpace was Friendster maybe, maybe I'm wrong on that. And then all of a sudden MySpace got kicked out of the way because of Facebook. Why? Because Facebook grew like crazy to the, the colleges and universities and they had a model that created that uh, adaptability, quick adoption. And so that's where I think they could win here potentially. 
The Eco Foundation plans to invest in community projects and applications, which will be available at eco.com slash apps. I don't know what that entails because they really don't talk about it. It's too new. Grants will initially be overseen by platform committee appointed by foundation board of directors. Scalability, they go through and hear about their, how they think they aim to achieve uh, 100,000 plus transactions per second using transaction sharding, where transactions are directed to specific shards for acceptance validation instead of the whole network validation, validating the same transaction. So they're trying to fix that style of uh, issue. They also talk about down in here, which I, you know, I, I think this, this is valid. There's another coin out there which I think talks about this too. I don't remember if I've discussed it or not, but right in here. So it says this will be available and enable a future user to have hundreds of eco in their account instead of a very small fraction of a more scarce token. For example, a future user would find it much easier to pay with 1.25 eco than something of 125 Satoshi Bitcoin. And I 100% I, I agree with that. People get so confused about these small percentages or fractions and decimals, and it's still the same thing. But it's in your head, guys. I mean, it's like selling something for, you know, $20 compared to $19.95 or somebody getting on Coinbase and buying a fraction of a Bitcoin when, hey, you could buy a couple whole Litecoin out there and you feel different because you own a whole piece of something. And I think that's kind of where this ties into is just it, it's it's better for the, in my opinion, for the whole of, you know, the public to, like, understand that concept of the whole numbers. Um, they talk about in here, you know, incentives for the universities. You know, financial motivation to increase hashing power is removed since reward is distributed across all nodes. Motivation for the node whole, uh, operator becomes to provide just enough hash power to verify the transaction. Uh, transactions are valid within a collective agreement upon a level of maximum latency, thus the platform becomes collectively motivated to achieve optimal energy efficiency. So, I mean, at the end of the day, that's, there's not a ton of information on this yet. This article, like I said, tries to go a little bit into uh, what it's about. I didn't even look at this article on Medium. I guess I can open that up. Here are some of their supporters, they claim. I don't, you know, if I like Virgin, but there's no... If you look at the links in the bottom left, there's nothing there as far as an article goes. I'm just assuming they're telling us the truth. And let's look at this medium. This is I haven't looked at this at all, guys. So let's just yeah, there's there's really nothing here. So again, it's very very new. I I've said multiple times before, the centralization of the decentralized currency concept has to happen at some point. And which one is really going to win out on the whole currency side of things rather than other protocols? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if we'll ever know any, you know, anytime soon. But the the one thing that's interesting to me about this is they do have a lot of good connections. They do have a lot of uh, the ability to pick up that phone and, and make some phone calls out there. They, according to, I don't know if it's in the white paper or not. I don't think that, no, they don't talk about ICO. I don't think they're actually going to do an ICO and they mentioned it in here. Ego isn't planning an initial coin offering to raise funds for the project, which probably is a good move in the light of recent crackdowns and regulations. I don't know where he particularly got that information for this article, but if that's true, that will be an interesting uh, take on things because I know a lot of people, you know, that ICO thing is, is a, um, a hot topic. But at the end of the day, if you have a mobile device where you can send to somebody quickly with whole numbers, no fractions, and they can find a way to get millions upon millions of users to pick it up quickly across the world. You know, I mean, there, there's, I'm not saying, I, I'm not talking about price, I'm just saying the usability. I could see it being used if they can generate enough traction, but who knows, there's no time, there's no roadmap that I can find, there's no time frame. this is just so new. So I just kinda wanna give you just what I found in the news Totally different video than what I've ever done. Um, interesting concept. I just don't know if I see personally a lot of uniqueness yet, but that doesn't mean there won't be more things coming out with their, they talked about the apps and the other programs on their platform, and maybe that will start to change my mind. I'm not negative. I'm not positive. I'm just kind of more of a neutral because there's just not enough information on it yet. In my opinion, the positives would be their connections. Um, I would say maybe the negatives would be maybe the, there's not a lot of uniqueness to it, but maybe at the same time too, the other positive would be the adoption of it might be faster than some other ones. So 
because there's plenty of coins and tokens out there that I think should have been adopted faster, but they just haven't been able to kick themselves in the next stage. So that's kind of it. Talked enough on this particular coin without a lot of information to give you, but you know, this is fresh, like hot off the press, brand new, and I thought I'd present it to you guys. If you guys liked it, awesome. Would love a thumbs up and subscribe because I'm trying to grow my channel. If you disliked it and you just didn't get any value out of it, give me a thumbs down, be honest with me, and let me know what I can do differently to change because I've yet to have somebody come in. Uh, well, that's not totally true. Some people have. And just kind of give me a comment like, hey, I would prefer this not happen in your videos because I don't like it. I can't please everyone. It's just like politics. You're going to have the left. You're going to have the right. You're going to have the middle. You, you just There's no way to please everyone. But I try my best to give you what I find and uh, try to put videos out there consistently. So thanks, guys. Have a great day.